be yeah this is acheron i think explaining like everything i'm not sure what this is we have just received an s level one notice from the ipc acheron female age current residence and home world unknown <sighs> a kindly member of the riddlers perhaps Acheron is the prime suspect in the assassination of several criminals wanted by the IPC, including one high-profile case involving a certain Everflame mansion. Wait, she eliminated wanted criminals and became a wanted criminal? The IPC- That's what I was gonna say, Albert, because like, bro, why would you eliminate- Why would you become a wanted criminal after eliminating wanted criminals that the IPC did not actually, like, get? But you're in charge of- Like, you're the one in, uh, getting incriminated by it? Like, that's kind of- That's kind of messed up. IPC is seeking help from the public. If you see this person or have any clues about her whereabouts, please notify us using the comment section at the bottom of this page. Yeah, she's on my team right now. You could go find her, but like, I, I, I have to warn you, like, everyone else has her in E6, so like, be careful. The IPC will contact you shortly and reward you with how many credits? That's so sick. <clears throat> to help Showcase us explore time. the rumors surrounding the enigmatic Acheron, we have invited an eminent soothsayer as today's expert guest. Without further ado, let's welcome Black Swan. Acheron oh, keeps a low Black profile Swan's and operates in the shadows. The IPC doesn't have any clear leads. What approach would you recommend? Stories can deceive, but memories never lie. <laughs> a very Black Swan recommendation. <laughs> Now then, let's take a look at the precious memory bubble Black Swan brought us today. I see Akron is a lightning type character on the path of Nihility. Yup. Here we see her reaching into her sleeve and pulling out a... She's pulling out a... Peach? A peach. <laughs> well, anyway, let's get down to business. When Akron uses her basic attack, she deals lightning damage based on her attack to a target enemy. It wasn't easy getting this memory bubble here. Not going to take a closer look? Oh, uh... <laughs> take a closer look. Compared to other characters, Akron has a very unique charging mechanism known as Slash Dream. When using her skill, Akron accumulates a certain quantity of Slash Dream. She then inflicts set stacks of Crimson Knot on a single target and deals lighting damage to adjacent targets based on her attack. Look at how beautiful that skill is, man. Like, I... I, I have... I can't... I don't have any words explaining how beautiful this skill is. Even if you do autoplay, like, I can look at this skill over and over and be so amazed. That's such an amazing skill. After accumulating enough Slash Dream, Acheron can use her ultimate. She frees her right arm and draws her sword, casting everything into a sea of darkness and engulfing her enemies in a black hole of terror. Only the color of blood remains. Yep. <laughs> I'm having nightmares tonight. I have read countless memories. But only in her memories has all color faded away. She's either hiding something, or black and white are her favorite colors. Black and white are favorite colors too, man. When using her ultimate, Akron can choose a target for each of her three attacks. Each attack deals a certain amount of lightning damage and removes a set number of Crimson Knot stacks. Whenever Crimson Knot is removed, lightning damage is dealt to the target, with greater damage being for each stack removed. Finally, yep. when sheathing her blade, Acheron deals lightning damage to all enemies based on her attack while removing all stacks of Crimson Knot from the battlefield. Even karma can be cut by that blade. Hackrun is truly one of a kind. Even car uh, can you, you guys hear that? Even karma can be cut with that blade, which is kind of re like that's kind of godly. Acheron herself is not just an enemy; she's a damn god. What's her secret? Let's keep watching. Thanks to her one of a kind talent, when using her ultimate, Acheron can reduce enemy toughness while ignoring weakness types and decrease all type res for all enemies. Plus, when any unit on the field, even enemy units, causes an enemy to become debuffed, Acheron gains one slash dream and one stack of Crimson Knot. All yep. tools are available to use, including the enemies. <laughs> you said it. Keep what's mine and borrow what's yours. But that's not all her talent does. When an enemy target with Crimson Knot is defeated, that Crimson Knot will be transferred to the enemy unit with the most yep. Crimson Knot stacks on the field. If Akron wants to maximize her battle prowess and ability to inflict damage, she's going to need allies on the field who can inflict debuffs. Know oneself. Know your allies. 
and know your enemy. Enemies. The rainfall. See, Black Swan knows what she's talking about. I don't know why I didn't pull for her. I mean, I did, but I lost. But like, I just wanted, like, if Black Swan gets a rerun, I'm for sure getting her. But I really just wanted Akarad. The moment I saw her trailer, I'm like, I'm saving. Nothing is gonna stop me other than Sparkle. But yeah, Black Swan's definitely gonna become my like next tier if ever she does that. She gets a rerun again. Oh. On a song. When Akurai uses her technique to enter battle at the start of every wave, I repeat, every wave, she gains a certain amount of slash stream after her next ultimate, stacks a certain number of Crimson Knot on a random enemy, inflicts lightning damage on all enemies based on her attack, and reduces toughness of all enemies regardless of weakness type. You see that? She slashes you on every wave, not just one. Not two, but every wave you have possible in the enemies. So make sure you keep using her technique. Also, her technique insta-kills. And that's not all. Right if here. Akron encounters a normal enemy, her technique will vanquish it without even entering battle. And if the hit doesn't land, it won't consume any technique points. Yup. I'm getting the impression. She is literal god tier without being broken. Like, I kid you not, if you want... If you want to pull for anybody right now, and you have like Luocha, pull for this girl. That Akron has her own way of doing things. Just what kind of person is she exactly? I can show you memories, but interpreting them is up to you. Why are there so many riddles on today's show? It seems like no matter where Akron travels throughout the universe, danger is waiting for. After unlocking a specific trace, Akron enters battle with a set amount of slash dream and inflicts a certain oh. number of crimson knot stacks on a random enemy. When you see a skill, they gain a set number of crimson knot stacks. When allies use a basic attack against the same enemy, they become inflicted with burn. Akron gains one point of slash dream and the enemy is inflicted with another stack of crimson knot. Realizing the combos they can create with Akron's abilities, allies inflict a debuff on the enemy, triggering another wave of slash dream and crimson knot. The enemy tries to get smart with a counterattack, but ends up triggering a debuff from Akron's ally, landing themselves with a stack of Crimson Knot and granting Akron. You know what's dumb about Akron? I just realized this, right? What's really dumb about her is the fact that one, she doesn't use energy. Two, everyone in the field is literally her play puppet. If you inflict debuffs on anyone in the field, be their allies or enemies, enemies to enemies, enemies to allies, allies to allies she gains a stack and no matter what happens she could honestly if you guys have it enough she can one turn all she can two turn all even three turn all like or three two one rather she could three turn all two turn all one turn all and it won't like as long as you have the uh enough enemies on the field as long as you have enough debuffs on the field like this girl can literally one turn alt if you have enough um like debuffs on simulated universe or something it's insane how much she has another point of slash dream Woo! it's ultimate o'clock and acheron doesn't hold back ultimate Amid the rain of darkness her blade cuts blood red slashes between heaven and earth <laughs> just like that the enemy is vanquished from this point of existence we're gonna need a bigger ambulance because yep. they're dead as though they never even existed. Yup. We learned all kinds of things about Akron. And, uh, ooh, well, I've got you. Looking at the year ahead, any chance I can get rich and retire early? That's easy. Wait one moment. Uh-oh, Albert. <laughs> Albert. No. About your hopes for the future, no. I recommend taking a nap. That's what I'm gonna do. It right might now, happen in your dreams. Oh, <laughs> nap! I can hardly take up. A... Nope, she's getting censored. <laughs> the fact that he got censored by saying taking a nap is hilarious because this man doesn't take a break. He can't even. He can't even say anything about. Anything because he works with the IPC. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, Akron is legitimately just broken. There's there's nothing to it. Like this girl is just mad. She's a goddess. There's really nothing you could do. 
I see no potential weaknesses in her kit. It's insane. Even at E0, S1, she's pulling up numbers that every other character needs to be an E6 for. It's insane.